Welcome back to another painting. I've got a painting ready that I poured on once, wasn't happy with, so I um, gessoed it and it's ready and it is 40 by 70 centimeters, so 60 inch by um, 28 inch. Here are my colors. I've got a lot of custom colors. This is a orangey pinky color and I've got two others a bit darker. I've got Caput Mortum Violet. So another custom color. I started off with some um, dark yellow, added some magenta and a little bit of bronze in here. So custom color. Then I've got some burnt sienna. Bronze. All my colors are by Amsterdam. And some primary magenta in here. Then I've got a flow extender. Um, not, I'm not planning that this will show, but that it will help the paint flow. So I've thought a lot about this painting and still not sure how I am going to do this. But I'm going to start and see how it goes. So I'm going to layer up a cup. I really um, debated if I should use a 12 ounce cup. I think I'm going to use a 7 ounce cup. Um, so I've got some paint left to work on the composition if that is necessary. Or even fill up another cup if I want to. So oh, now you can see my messy worktop. So I'm just going to fill them up and start with the lightest of them. So a little bit of the Caput Mortum Burns Sienna. really like these colors together but I am not sure <laughs> how it will come out and I also really wanted some So, filled up my cup, <laughs> been creative filling up my cup. Let me see if it is in focus. So, I'm not going to do a flip cup or a ring pour or something, but just pour it on my canvas in a bow, in a... Words are not my best thing this evening, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, now 
I'm just going to fill up a cup with those pinky orangey colors because I want that to be the predominant color in this piece and now I see a lot of other colors and not so much my peachy So, I did some math and I know that I need for this paint consistency about um, two full, more than two full cups of these. So I'm going to layer up another cup and pour some more on here. Just thinking about <laughs> this. Why not start here? <clears throat> like this. So I'm just letting this drip down. Going to use that flow extender just around. So it flows off the canvas when I'm tilting, but helps my paint.
so sad it didn't dry well. This part is beautiful, but look at here. It didn't dry well, so very, very sad about that because I love this piece. I should have used a new clean canvas and not a used one, but yeah, that's too late now. So there are two things that I can do now. I can throw away this painting or I can save the part that worked and is so, so lovely and cut the part that didn't work out and then use another framework, a smaller framework and stretch it on there. And that is what I'm going to do. So uh, let me see if I can save some of this lovely painting and if it will look right for my spring collection. I'm done. You can see here, this is the part that I cut off. I stapled it, I stretched it. So let's see how it looks on a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas. This is it. And I think I can be very, very happy with this. You can see the gold, very nice. Still a small piece of that. So I'm happy I saved some colors. Um, and I will try to paint this so it looks nice and smooth. So I'll be back with the end result when I did some touch-ups. Here is the end result. Although I was in love with the bigger canvas, I also love this one very, very much. I'm in love with the color palette and the effects in this painting. Really, really nice. I hope you also like it very much. Then please give me a thumbs up. Share this with your family and friends and I hope you've already subscribed my channel. So this painting is called Spring is in the Air. That's the title for my for the exhibition for this painting. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. <laughs>